She's very candy-like. She's just a candy little queen. <laughs> this is from, when is this? Easter. <laughs> Easter. What a dumbass. I've stained it with a bath bomb, so we're just gonna leave that there. Life gets stressful, you know, so. What are you called, my man? Little cheer pig. Yeah, that's, that's what I've got. Hi guys, so for today's video, I'm gonna be doing my Lush collection. I'm going to be sharing it with you guys. Um, I did a post and asked if anyone wanted to see it, and quite a lot of you said yes. So I figured, let's do it. Um, to some people, this might be a massive collection. To some people, it might not be a lot at all. Um, if I'd filmed this like a few weeks ago, it probably would have been a lot more, well it would have been, yeah, it would definitely have been a lot more. Um, I would have had like the World Bath Bomb Day Bath Bombs, I had about 12, 40 knives, <laughs> which I have used up. And I've actively been going through like quite a lot of pots at the moment, like trying to use stuff up. So I have used up a bit as well, but I still got a fair old, fair old lot to share with you. So most of it's obviously in my bathroom, some of it's in my bedroom, some is on my bedside table, some I keep downstairs but I've brought it upstairs for the purpose of this video. Yeah, so I'm super excited to share this with you guys. If you've just come across this video and you're new here, then please feel free to subscribe. I do lots of Lush videos. I slip some other videos in there as well, but we mainly do Lush videos around here. So if there's something that interests you, then please do subscribe. Also give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to leave me some comments as well. Okay, let's get started. So I'm in my shower now. Um, I did do a video not long ago putting these shelves up. Um, I did like a little Lush organization thing. I'm still using them and they're still going very, very strong. Very good shelves, would recommend. Um, I've still got my shower gels down here and my like scrubs and there are some other shower gels up here because I have way too many shower gels. But anywho, I'll just quickly go through the stuff. I'll try not to make it too long. Um, let's just get into it or else this will be ages long. I know what I'm like. <laughs> First up here, oh, I did clean my shower earlier so there's probably water everywhere, is Guardians of the Forest um, body scrub. This was a kitchen exclusive. It's a really earthy sort of herbally Wow, it just smells like grass, if you ask me, like when you mow the grass or walk through a forest. I've got that, not a massive fan of it, but it will get used. Then I have a little pot of sticky dates, love this stuff. Um, I did get a big tub of it, but I did end up actually selling it. Um, I didn't use it. This is really nice, but I do think some of the sugar scrubs tend to irritate my arms a little bit. Um, so I don't use them all the time. And I think this might have been the main culprit, but it smells delicious, so good. We've got a little scrubby here, which he's been very well used. Legend, we love him. Then we've got a posh white chocolate and rose, um, a body wash. This is from, I did wash my shower. It's just, it's just stuff everywhere. Um, this was from the Valentine's collection, I believe. I wasn't a massive fan at first, but it actually smells delicious now. It's just like Turkish Delight and white chocolate. It's absolutely mm, scrummy. Then I have a Toil and Trouble from Halloween. I have been saving this, but it is getting closer to Halloween now, so I'm probably gonna end up polishing this off quite soon. This smells absolutely phenomenal. I can't, I really, well, this should come out for Halloween again, hopefully. It's gorgeous. Then I've got a sparkly pumpkin shower slime. This was from Halloween as well. This stuff does creep me out a little bit. It sort of separates in the pot. Can you see that? Um, I sort of have to show you some of these things. Shall I open them? So as you can see, it sort of has like an oily layer that separates, which you have to mix together when you use it. Wasn't a massive fan of this at first because <laughs> it is a slime technically, but it is just a bit too slimy in my opinion. Um, but this is gonna get used up. This is one of the ones that I'm hoping to use up soon. This smells delicious though. It's like a really orangey, lovely scent. Really like this scent. Then I have a Bouncing Santa shower jelly. This is what he likes like. I don't really know why I buy this. I don't actually like shower jellies that much. I just find them really annoying because they go everywhere. Um, but this smells gorgeous. It's just like a really watermelon -y, strawberry smell. I do need to use him up. I do, I do. Then I have an Old Songs Are Waking sugar scrub, which I've nearly finished. This, it was a grower on me as well. Um, the scent was nice at first, but it didn't like blow me away, but now I really do enjoy it and it's on its last leg, so I can't get that again, which is a bit of a shame. But like we said, limited edition stuff. Hopefully it comes back in the future. That's the exciting thing, isn't it really? But this is a really nice, sweet, like it does just smell like a packet of like sweeties, it's lovely. And there I have an orange shower scrub. I wish everything wasn't soaking wet, I do apologize. <laughs> an orange shower scrub, this stuff is phenomenal. It's just their sort of traditional, um, like sort of sloppier <laughs> uh, sugar and sea, I think it's a sea salt scrub to be honest. It's very, very scrubby this one, but it's beautiful. It smells just like pure oranges, love it. I have a Magic of CBD shower gel. 
This was obviously a recent release. This is really nice, I do really like this. It's a bit more herbal and smoky than I would usually go for, but I'm glad I got the opportunity to try it because it is really lovely. Um, I have a Valkyrie conditioner, which is actually pretty much done. Um, this stuff is nice, it smells like rose jam. It's more for like color treated hair, I think, like really quite damaged hair, but it is a very nice conditioner. Um, I've got the Fiona shower gel from the Shrek collection. This is like an apple-y sort of melony type vibe. It's quite nice, it's not my favorite, but it is nice and it's like luminescent, it's so cool. <laughs> then we have my absolute favorite from the Shrek collection, which is the Get Out of My Swamp Shower Slime. I love this stuff. I've got a few videos on this. I've got some demos and stuff. If you wanna go check those out, I'll pop them in the description for you. Again, with the other stuff, I've got demos of a lot of these things. I'll link them below. But this is great. It's like a bio neon luminescent color when you put it on the skin, it's phenomenal. I love this one. And then lastly on this shelf, we've got the CMB Scene Rose Scented Body Wash from the Bridgerton Collection. This one is the one that looks just like jam. It's a super fun one. It's very much like a slime consistency, but like a little bit less, I would say. It's not as slimy as like the sparkly pumpkin. But yes, love this. Oh, I almost forgot. I have a Buffy in here. So we've got a little Buffy scrub. This is actually quite a few months old. I do need to get this finished, I think. But I love Buffy. Buffy's a classic. It smells so good. It's a really good exfoliator and body butter all in one. Love it. Moving on to the shampoo, the shampoos. Moving on to the shower gels. Um, we'll start from the back. So at the back, I've got an Oud S one. So this was released for Eid a few months ago. Um, this is really lovely. It's meant to be the goddess scent. Um, a lot of people, once they got this, realised that it smells quite similar to cola bottles. And to be honest, after I smelt it again, it, it does smell a bit like cola bottles. But it is still lovely and it's such a wonderful colour as well. Then I've got the Sticky Dates shower gel. Obviously, everyone knows Sticky Dates and loves Sticky Dates. It just smells like syrup, caramel, super scrummy. Then I have the Sakura shower gel. Again, this was a limited edition released a few months ago. I think this was sold out quite quickly, to be honest. Everyone was wanting to get their hands on it, but it did disappear quite quick. Um, this is nice. It's not my favorite. It's super duper duper florally um, and quite powdery as well. It's not my favorite, but we will use it. Then we have Cinders. This is one of my absolute favorites. I adore this. It smells just like um, Battenberg, if you ask me, just like a Battenberg cake. Absolutely gorgeous. It's super almondy, warming. Absolutely love this one. Then we have a Slammer shower gel. This was a kitchen exclusive um, a while back. I think it was last year. People were a bit funny about this one because it is so watery, but the scent is phenomenal. I love the Slammer scent so much. This is absolutely fine if you put it on a poof. It lathers up just fine, but it is just a bit watery. Then I have a Happy Hippie one. This is obviously the really uplifting, great fruity, um, citrusy shower gel, the one that will wake you up in the morning. Um, very good one for summer. Then I have a Snow Fairy from Christmas. Um, love this little guy. I should probably use this really because it's not really that far away from Christmas, is it, I suppose. She's very candy-like. She's just a candy little queen. Then we have Rose Jam. Um, I didn't like Rose Jam at first, but this is growing on me so much. I actually adore it now. It's just a very, very, very sweet rose scent. It's beautiful. Then we have the Celebrate one. This is another one of my absolute favorite scents from Lush. It's a very citrusy orange scent, and I absolutely love orange scents. Would recommend this. Actually, no, I can't recommend this. I think you can only get this in a gift set. I'm not too sure. I'll have to check on that one. Then we've got the Passion Shower Gel. This was the one from Valentine's Day. This is gorgeous. It has the passion scent. So it's that really lovely, tropically fruity, tutti fruity type scent. It's super lovely and it's a gorgeous red color as well. What have we missed? We've got a Sleepy Shower Gel. Obviously everyone knows Sleepy. It's the lovely little lavender scent that they have with a little bit of sweetness to it. Super relaxing and calming. I absolutely adore the Sleepy scent. Then we have a Honey I Wash the Kids shower gel. Again, this is a classic. It smells just like honey, caramel, all lovely stuff like that. We love this one. Then I have an e.l.f. shake. Um, this is from the Christmas before, I think. Not last Christmas, the one before that. I did get this off Vinted. Um, it's really nice. It smells just like sweets. It's super lovely. Then I have two Lord of Mist rules. I've got one currently in use and one to use. I love the Lord of Mist Rule scent, it's so lovely. It's really sweet, but also really earthy as well. It's just absolutely gorgeous. Would recommend grabbing that at Halloween if you can. 
Moving to here, this is my partner's little section. This is where the shower gels that I don't really care for go and that he uses. So I've got Aura Suave, I never know how you say that. This was from a kitchen box that you can buy on the app. So it's not an actual kitchen box, it's one they've made of retro goodies. It's a little bit more pricey, I think it's about 43 pounds, but you can get that in there if you want it. Then we've got the Sonic Deaf Monkey. Where did we get this from? Was this a kitchen exclusive? It doesn't say on the front though. I think it might have been a couple of boxes ago. I don't get the hype with this, I really don't. It's meant to smell like, I think, chocolate coffee or something like that, or chocolate orange coffee. I just don't agree, I don't get the hype. It smells very groundy and earthy and just reminds me of coffee grounds, I'm not a fan. Um, then we've got these snuggles. I am also not a fan of this either. It's got a really weird after scenty twinge to me that I'm not a fan of. So Barry has got that one. And then Yognog as well. I think if you've been following me a while, you know I don't like Yognog. It's got a really odd undertone that I'm not a fan of. And to be fair, this has been in his section for a while and it's not been used. So I'm probably gonna have to think of another way to use that one up. Then down here, I've got the Wasabi Shanghui Shampoo. This one is lovely. Um, it's a really sort of invigorating, tingly um, shampoo. It's got little gritty bits and it. it's meant to be really good for hair growth. Really like this one. My partner uses this as well when he steals it. <laughs> Over here, there's two more of products that I give to Barry. So this is also his corner too. So we've got a yummy custard and a cup of coffee, face and body mask. Um, yeah, I just pop stuff there for him and if it's in this corner, he knows it's for him. I have some stuff here that I've recently used, um, like over the last few days. I used like, a tropical co-mingle, a creamed almond and coconut smoothie, a partial chocolate and a, a schwann wen how I never know how you say that, that's a hair treatment. Um, the only one out of these I'll probably be purchased is the Porsche chocolate. Moving to my sink, um, I've got a blue moon soap, a little sliver of the, I think it was sticky syrup is it? from Mother's Day, I think, and then I have a little goddess wash card that I'm trying to use up there. Then over here, I have a Shrek pack face mask and a Birth of Venus jelly face mask. These are really cool, and I really wish Lush would make these like permanently, like make some other ones, because I think they did them a while ago that, I think somebody mentioned it to me, um, but this was in, what was this in? Was this in a kitchen box as well? Yeah, I think it was. They're so fun. Then over here, this is also in my bathroom. Um, I've got some, massage bars, a couple of lotions, and a shower jelly. I've got a soap here that was inside the giant intergalactic. I got the green one. Um, I need to use that up. Then I've got the creme anglaise body lotion from the Bridgerton collection. This one is really nice. Um, a lot of people aren't a fan of it, I don't think, um, but I think it's quite lovely. It smells vanilla-y, sweetish, tiny bit floral, very good got the celebrate body lotion this is a kitchen box exclusive i bought a couple of these off vintage when um the box was released because i love the scent so much and it's a really great lotion then we have the easter turtle shower jelly this is from when is this easter <laughs> easter <laughs> what a dumbass <laughs> yeah this is nice again i don't really like using shower jellies i just found them a bit awkward but um he's there as a little mascot we like him we're just going to keep him as a little friend i think then I've got some tins here. I'll quickly open them for you and show you what's inside. So here is a turmeric latte massage bar. We've got a grass massage bar. We've got the Bridgerton um, bee massage bar. I'm so sorry as well. Like, I think everyone's massage bar does this. Mine just gets covered in fluff. It's so annoying. Um, and then we have a celebrate one. And then here I've got a new shampoo bar, which I think some water has got on it and it's like mulched into the tin. So I don't really know how I'm gonna get that out, but hey ho. So that's that little section. So we're done in the bathroom now. Um, I will take you into the bedroom and show you what I've got in there. So this is the section in my bedroom. I can only apologize for the lighting. This is a very sort of long in-depth video to film, so I can't really do it when I look after reading the day. So my partner's just watching him now when I do this, but it is a bit later in the evening, so the lighting's a bit shoddy, I do apologize. So first up, we've got a Honey I Wash the Kids body spray up here. Super lovely, like I just said, honey scented, like caramel toffee, super lovely. We've got a dirty body spray, which is like a predominantly, I think it's peppermint or spearmint. Which one is it? It's predominantly like spearmint with a bit of sandalwood, I think. Then we've got a dad's garden lemon tree, super lovely citrus scent, very lemony, right up my street, one of my absolute favorites. Then I've got the, um, by night, one way, by day, another Shrek body spray. This, I was not a fan of this at first, and I think a lot of people went either. 
it has grown on me. It's not grown on me fully, but I've used too much of it to sell it. So um, it's fine. It's appley, but it's just, there's a lot to it. There's so much fruit in it. I think it just, it's a bit overpowering, but we use it. We use it. We've got a Twilight body spray, which has only got a little bit in, which will be gone soon. Then I have a New Romantics perfume. This is from the Valentine's collection. Again, I wasn't keen on this at first, but this has grown on me a lot. I do like this. It's a very fruity, again, sort of tropical-y, ever so slightly floral. It's just, it's nice. It's nice. Then I have my creamy candy perfume. This is amazing. This was from the last Lush Times community perfume and body spray drop that they did. Um, this was the only one I got from that. I really wish I'd got the Sticky Dates one, though. That is, like, one of my biggest Lush regrets is not getting that. Then I have some solid perfumes. I've got the Fursy, which was a solid perfume from a couple of kitchen boxes ago, I think. They all look the same, the solid perfumes. There's not really much to show. Then I have an Alina. I blind bought this online. This was for Mother's Day, I think. Um, this is just not good, but I have used it. So again, I can't get rid of it. Um, to me, it just smells like an air freshener that you would have in a toilet. I'm just not a massive fan of that, to be honest. Then we've got a big Sticky Dates Lotion. I love this. I've used up a small one of this and now I've moved on to the big one. It's just beautiful. Really like it. I've got another, well, I've got two yummy custards here. I bought one from Mother's Day and then bought two more on Vinted, which I really think I shouldn't have bothered doing now because I've not used hardly any of this and I've got two more to use. That's why I've given Barry one of them. Um, then we've got a Snow Fairy Fairy Dust. Love this stuff. Um, super nice. I usually use this. If I can't be bothered to put on a lotion after I've had a bath, I usually use this to dust in between my legs just because it's summer now. It gets really hot and I get a bit like chafy. <laughs> so I just pop some of that between my legs. Um, I've got a little cube from a Lush, Lush um, Fresh and Flowers box. That's just chilling there, mainly because I've stained it with a bath bomb. <laughs> so we're just going to leave that there. And then we've got, and I've stained it here, so that's going there too. Um, then we've got a massage bar from a fresh and flowers box this is like a sort of a rose jam scent but it's a bit more florally i'd say um i need to use this one up i'll put it in a tin because it's probably going to lose its scent if i just leave it there and quickly here as well on my shelf i've got a human rights shrouder um also on my shelf some crumbled up bubble bars i can't actually remember what's in these but they're crumbled up in this box here i've got my partner's father's day goodies just stored in there ready to put in a bag for him for father's day then this tin on my shelf i don't think there's a fat lot going on in here let's have a quick look so in here i've got some uh spare baggies um a bit of a melt from i want to say valentine's day fresh and flowers it smells like rose jam phenomenal i've got half of a strawberry uh, bubble rune, I think from Mother's Day or Valentine's can't remember and then I didn't realize this was in here but I think I might have to throw it it's a twilight bath bomb but it's going a bit crumbly gutted so there's not a lot in there but I've got a couple more tins with some other bits in so I keep a tin here by the um window where I have my mirror and stuff and um, with bath bombs in so I'll quickly get that off and show you oh quickly before I show you that tin I've got some stuff on my desk I've got a super milk conditioning hair primer this is phenomenal smells like lemon cake it's gorgeous I've got a tea tree toner water and in here I have a argan facial this is an oil I think not a serum I think I got confused before I think it's a facial oil so in this tin we've got this was also from that kitchen box I was saying about earlier. Um, I forgot I had it. It was in. I left it in the box by accident, buried under Barry's Father's Day stuff. Um, so I'm going to use this tonight, I think. I've got a Hot Cross Bunny bubble bar from Easter. This smells like... Um, it's meant to smell like gingerbread, but to me, I think it smells like berries, but it is really lovely. I'm on a mission to use these up soon as well, so please don't judge me. I have got some from Halloween, but they are going to get used in here. I have a Lord of Misrule bath bomb, just wrapped up. I have the other part of the Comforter Eggs on Legs um, bath bomb that was released for Easter, I think. We've got a bit of a bubble bar that was from a um, Fresh and Flowers box from Christmas. I think it's called Bar Humbug. Um, I've got a bit of a bubble Legowski from Halloween. Um, a bit, uh, a whole reindeer, I don't know what this is called, I think it might just be called reindeer, from Christmas, some of a sleepy um, bubble bar, 
We've got a snow fairy bath bomb, um, a bit of an alien bath bomb from Halloween, another bit of a, why, why am I saying bath bomb? Bubble bar, sorry. Bubble bar, bath bomb, bubble bar. <laughs> Um, this is Happy Dance Bubble Bar, I believe. Then um, some of the Pumpkin Bubble Rune from Halloween. And then this was a Dragon's Temple, I think it was, from a um, Fresh and Flowers box. Oh, and I've just realised we also have in here, um, sorry, it's a bit dusty, a Space Girl perfume from the kitchen box as well. Moving on over to my bedside table, um, I keep a few bits here. I keep a lip balm, so I have a Snow Fairy lip mask. This stuff is phenomenal. It's so thick and like, it feels unlike any other lip balm I've ever used. It's just gorgeous. So we have that one. I have a Key Lime Pie lip balm. This is actually usually kept downstairs, but I just brought it up here just to show you. Um, I keep a lip balm downstairs with me and I also keep a Temple Balm downstairs with me. I keep the Magic CBD Temple Balm down there. Obviously, because I get a little bit stressed in the day sometimes with the baby and things. Life gets stressful, you know, so I keep that down there just to chill me out every now and again. Then other temple balms I have, I've got the Dreamtime Temple Balm here, which is to use before bedtime. Then I've got the Woosh one, which you can use in the morning to wake you up. I have actually used this one up, so this is to go in the empties bag, this is. But we've still got the Woosh and the Magic left to use. Um, then I have a Happy Hippie Body Lotion. This is from the most recent kitchen box. Um, a lot of people are unhappy with this one, I think, because it's it smells gorgeous. It does, but it lasts about five minutes and then it just disappears. It's super unusual. Um, so my bedtime lotion that I keep here is usually always something that I'm not the biggest fan of or like I don't mind if I use it up too quick. So that is what's going to be my bedtime lotion from now on. I just use it like on my feet and my hands and stuff. Uh, yeah. I've just realised I have another tub with stuff in. Um, something leaked in here, but it is like lush leakage. Um, this has like soaps and stuff in. So I've got a Movis facial cleanser in there. Um, I've got some of the sticky syrup soap, soap, another piece. And then this was a delight we got in a Fresh and Flowers box. I think it was Valentine's Day Fresh and, Fresh and Flowers. And it's absolutely gorgeous. It smells just like candied rose, sweet strawberries, gorgeous. Then I have two of the delights from, was it Mother's Day? Um, this is the Passion Delight. This is the really squidgy stuff. It's gorgeous. I can smell it through the bag. It's so nice. It smells, like I said, just tropical, fruity, lovely. Then I have a Trichomania shampoo bar, solid shampoo bar. I got this off vintage. I think it was in a kitchen box, but I cut a piece off and it just did absolutely nothing. So I should probably just throw this away, to be honest. It didn't even lather. It was awful. Then I have some of the... What are you called, my man? Little Cheer Pig <laughs> from... I can't remember all these collections. Is it Mother's Day? Mother's Day, maybe? Yeah. Um, this is odd. It's meant to smell like super milk, but I think it smells nothing like super milk. But it's still nice. To me, it sort of smells like, do you remember Imperial, is it Imperial Lava? Or Imperial Leather, the little soaps um, that like you'd have on your nan's house. It reminds me of that. Then last bag in this one, I've got some, uh, what is that one? I can't remember. Oh, it's from Christmas. Golden Linseed soap. And then I've got some Sleepy Soap cut up in there as well. So that is everything. I feel like I really whizzed through that and I do apologise if it seemed like I was like, blah, 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 blah. But I was like, as soon as I started the top shelf, I was like, Christ, this is going to take absolutely ages. So I just tried to whiz through it as quickly as I could. Sorry if I didn't go too in depth about some of the products as well. But if you have any questions about any of the products, just ask me below and I can answer them for you. Um, but yeah, that's, that's what I've got. Um... I didn't show my shelf, but I have a previous video of me popping that shelf up and decorating it. It's just full of lush stuff. So if you want to see that video, I'll pop it below for you as well. But this is just what I have at this moment in time. Obviously, collections change. I might update you in a few months if you want, because um, it will probably be even bigger. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, I'm actively trying to use stuff up. So I have four of those pots in the bathroom that I have used up in the last week. And I am actively just trying to make sure that I keep in date with things and make sure they're used. I would I hate waste and I would really hate to waste them. Um, so yeah, <laughs> that is my collection at the moment. I hope you guys like this video. Apologies for the lighting again. Like I'm trying to film this while I am filming this on the evening. It's about, what time is it? It's five past eight. Um, 
because my partner had to watch Rudy because I tried to film this today with him in the day. I got about two minutes in and I was like, nah, this ain't gonna work. <laughs> so I just gave up. Um, but yeah, apologies for the lighting, but it's the best I could do at this moment in time. I wish I could afford a better camera for you guys. I really do, but I can't. I'm poor. <laughs> I'm not poor, but <laughs> I can't afford a camera at the moment. Maybe in the future. But anywho, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Um, let me know. What should, what should we do for the comments? Let me know what some of your favourites are that I showed that you have as well that you really love. That would be fun. Um, yeah, I hope you guys have a great week. I love you all very much. Um, and I'll see you all soon. Bye.